What's going on guys? Welcome back to Until Dawn. In the previous part, we may have lost two people. One of, one of them is definitely dead. Uh, and that would be Josh. So that's a bummer because I actually, I kind of liked him. He was quite interesting. Um, I thought he was very suspicious because we never play as him and he's, you know, he's the brother of the sisters that got killed in the prologue. Um, and then the other person is Jess, but she was unconscious, I believe, or at least, you know, pretty beat up and she fell down a mine shaft. So, uh, that is not very good. And then Mike decided to chase after this mysterious figure to the sanatorium, I believe. And he had a bunch of uh, wolves as pets. So this could be very interesting. Um, also, just to catch you guys up, uh, I think the, the mystery man is the one we're chasing. And there was this wanted poster at the very start of the game. Uh, Victor Milgram and the um, ex-janitor, you know, convicted of arson newspaper. So we're pretty sure it's that guy. And now we're chasing him. Uh, without any weapons or anything like that, he's not even wearing a jacket, so this can only go very, very well, obviously. Um, so let's, let's go. This is a nice looking, nice looking place, except it's very creepy. Now, are there any clues over here? Look at that. There actually is one. Awesome, okay. It is a totem. Okay, so basically in this game, you really have to check out every path, or you will miss a lot of things. That's Matt. Fortune Totem. I don't really see how that helps me, though. It is a prophecy of good fortune. Alright, so... Matt needs to be outside of some door, and if that happens, then it's good. Uh, that doesn't really help me too much, though. Um, Alright, I'll keep it in mind, though. If I ever see a door, Matt's gonna go through it. I guess, maybe. Now let's go check out this place. I wanna, I wanna see what this guy's up to, and probably beat him up a bit. Although he does have some uh, creepy wolf pets, uh, so that could be problematic, to say the least. I can actually hear them right now. This is creepy. All right, where are you, buddy? Oh my god, this place is... No, it's deserted. It's in ruins. I have a bad feeling about this. Chapel security pass required. Oh, that's a guy. See, that's his, that's his wolves. He does have two, so I was correct about that. Mike, this is a bad idea. Oh god, the wolves are leaving. Why would you try to open that? You just saw the guy's in there. He's got wolves. Alright, so apparently we need a pass to get through the door. But even if we get through the door, I don't see how that'll help us, because... Like I just said, there's, there's wolves. I just... I can't see this ending in a good way. Uh... Oh, what's that? The Blackwood Pine Sanatorium, open 1922. All right. Okay, does that mean like me mentally sane, uh, bodily sane or something like that? Like when your, when your health is, is um, or when your mind is healthy, your body's healthy, something like that. I did take Latin. But, you know, it's been years, so I'm not entirely sure anymore. Hello? Oh. Someone really wanted to take a peek inside. Let's open this bad boy up. Do it. Oh, okay. I feel like that should not have worked. That is an actual safe. We just broke into it with a piece of wood. Alright, we got a stack of uh, letters. 30 clocking in mine cards. Wait, was that a clue? Clocking in cards, 1952. 
A batch of 30 clocking in cards from the mine locked away in a safe. This means there are 30 miners trapped in the mine. Okay, I don't really see how that's uh, relevant to us right now, but okay. So at some point there were 30 miners trapped in a mine. Let's see, there's probably something else in here. Yep, there you go. Found you. There's an old camera. Is it even old? It's a broken camera, okay. I mean, it does look pretty old to me. 1952, the lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. Uh, except why? Why would you just break, smash a camera? I don't, I didn't really see how that's a clue, but okay. I'm pretty sure they will explain more to us later. Morgue, oh God. Okay, let's just, Oh man, I don't want to go to the morgue. Hello. What are you? We got another newspaper. Mike, stop being an idiot. There you go. The Alberta Post. All right, let's go ahead and read this. An old newspaper dated 1952 with a story about a reporter being banned from visiting a group of rescued miners. The reporter had his camera confiscated. Okay, so now I get why it's a clue. This camera belonged to the uh, reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. A reporter from the Albert Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The man had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of both the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry had been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated prior to the attack. That's interesting. This must be the camera mentioned in the newspaper article. Someone really didn't want these pictures getting out. That's okay. So there was an incident with miners. A reporter was going to report on it, but he was forced off of the grounds and his camera was smashed. So it looks like there was some type of situation, hello, with the, um, oh god, with this cave-in and the, uh, the, the proprietor of both the mine and the sanatorium tried to cover it up. Maybe the, the cave-in is, like, his fault or something. All right, let's read this as well. Uh, medical notes, clue five. Miners rescued from the mine were healthier than expected, although some had exhibited reintegration problems. Update, the report mentions 12 miners, but there were 30 clocking in carts retrieved from the mine. There is no indication of what happened to the other 18 miners. That's weird, though. Okay. Uh, let's see, minor medical report. Attending physician Dr. Bowen. Or is it Bowen? I don't know. Report follows uh, the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Admittance, on receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear cogent and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited respiratory function was detect uh, detected in a few of the older men, as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 30, uh, 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of the, some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy, and are pre prescribed a course of streptomycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation, 
Signed, Dr. Nicholas Henry Fowlis Bowen. Uh, okay. That's weird, though. All right, so there were 30 miners in a mine. 12 uh, actually made it out of there, but they only did so because of emergency food supplies, which still leaves the mystery of the missing miners. So either they fought over the supplies and a bunch of miners did not make it out, or something way worse happened. Maybe it's just my mind going there, but it sounds like uh, there were no food supplies and the miners were forced to eat each other in the mine. Now, I'm not sure how true that is, but you never know. That's sort of what it, what it seems to say a little bit. Oh, hello. There's a bird there. How is that creepy, man? Oh, shit. Gross. Yeah, take that knife. Oh, it's a machete, actually. There you go. Sweet. We got a machete now. At least we have a weapon now. It's still not very good, but we got it. Oh god, this place is very, very creepy. I mean, it's a sanatorium, so I'm not sure what I expected, but yeah, it's, it's creepy. And we're slowly making our way to the... Morgue. Which is obviously going to be... Oh god, what is this? Oh, it, How this many is, days will they keep us here? Could, uh, who? Who the hell would it... Is this a clue or is it just a... Uh, something to see to creep me out. Alright, so that's written by someone that was in the sanatorium. Who was forced to stay here. Oh god, no. I knew it. I knew there was going to be a creepy shadow. It was too perfect. The moment was too perfect not to do that. Okay. I forgive you whoever made this. Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Here we go. Alright, telegram about the miners. Uh, a telegram warning about press interest in survivors brought to the sanatorium. The mine owners were trying to cover something up. Western Province Telecommunications Company Telegram. Dr. Richard Castle, Blackwood Sanatorium to Mr. J. Bragg. Incident update. 12 survivors received at sanatorium. Showing signs of mental trauma may need to contain. Local press now have scent of blood. Becoming a problem. Please advise further. Gee, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? What happened here? And why is the whole place, like, run down now? It was 1952. That's like 60 years ago. A little over 60 years, but still. Alright, where's this wolf? Oh god, it's a spooky skeleton. What's up, skeleton? You wanna go? You can just spook me? Yeah, I, didn't, I don't think so. I like how the skeleton is basically the only thing that still looks good. That's how you know that you got a quality establishment when the skeletons are the best looking things there. Oh, God. There's a noise. Oh, there's a rat. Thanks for scaring me, man. What is that? There's something there. Is it like a chair? But I can't get over to it. Oh, God, no. Dude, that's a bloody hand. I, there's no way in hell I'm touching that. Let's just see if there's anything else. I want to... I don't know. I don't know. Let's just see what else there is for now. That looks very, very suspicious. And it's probably gonna kick us to the... Oh, God. This just gets better and better. What the hell? Strange skull. A disfigured human head suspended in formaldehyde. Why? That's super creepy, man. Oh, no. We made it to the morgue. 
Don't. Oh, God. We got to do it, though, don't we? There's still that noise. Oh, God. If there's something in there, I swear to God, dude. Oh, my God. I, I can't look. It's empty. Except for a tag. Emergency medical tag named Nicholas Bowen. Attacked by inmate, fatal lacerations to throat. All right, let me just make sure. Nicholas Bowen, isn't that the guy that wrote? Yes, that's the guy that wrote this. He was killed. Wait, what's the day? 24th. 6th of January. Because it's stupid American dating. All right, so. He was killed, like, way after that. Something happened to him. He was killed by an inmate. It's pretty messed up stuff. Oh, God. Don't. No, there's a there's something in there, dude. Oh, I swear to God, don't do this to me. Ah. Oh, it's just a blankie. Why are people just burning documents all the time here? Sarah Smith. Death Certificate. The 24th as well. It describes the body as being partially eaten. Name of the C. Sarah Smith. I hereby certify that I attend a deceased from March 8th, 1951 to February 24th, and that's when I last saw her alive. Cause of death, severe lacerations to the abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external causes, violence, fill in also the following. Accident, suicide, or homicide? Homicide. Manner of injury, laceration by sharp implement, possibly fingernails. Additional notes. Please use the box provided overly for any additional relevant information signed by Nicholas Bowen, who died the same day. Okay. Body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. What in the... What happened here, man? Oh, I don't want to open the, any other of these things. This one... This is going to be one. There's... Uh, but there's like three options. You know that one of them is going to spook your shit out. Oh, God. Yeah, there's a dead body in there. There's a dead body in there, dude. Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to be doing this. I don't like it at all. Is it going to move? Is it going to move? Oh, that's disgusting, dude. What is that thing? No, I swear to God. This is like my one... Free okay. No, it's just a rat. It's always super freaky and horror stuff when you look at something that is completely still and then suddenly moves. That's the one thing that scares the shit out of me. Oh, look at that. Looks like we got our little, uh, little security pass so we can now go through that door. Sorry, dead body. I'm out of here. Because you're spooking the shit out of me, and I do not like it. I hate this place. Oh, wait. No, I'm not touching that hand. I don't know. I mean, first of all... It's way too freaky. There's blood all over it. Should I just go for it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? Wait, we can take the tag? Okay. Nope, that's fine. Okay. I should have known. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. I should have known. I should have just... Oh, now the wolf's coming for me. Hurry up, Mike. Sorry, that finger's got to go, buddy. I mean, open bear trap of MPJ fingers. Those fingers are messed up anyway. They're just gonna get in the way, and they're not very important. You can still flip people off and raise a thumb, so... Sorry, dude. Shit. They're gonna go. Fingers oh, gotta shit. go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Just oh, do shit. it, Mikey. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, it's gonna suck, dude. Look at those fingers. They're all messed up. Oh, man. That is one sharp-ass machete. I knew that I should have stayed away from the hand. Oh, God. Why did I still do it? Oh, 
I just thought maybe I could just grab the tag and then just walk away, but no, obviously that wasn't possible. Butterfly effect. Uh, and which one will die? Chris said that he would save Ashley, and I did. Mike hacked off his own fingers, but he still had a usable machete. Oh, okay. All right. That's pretty good, though. Mighty. Whoa. Catch a tiger by the toe, if he... Where's the wolf, though? Let him go. I don't know what the fuck to go. Okay. Oh, God, dude. Status update. Probably got very, very brave just now again. No, nothing happened, actually. New goal, though. Uh, I knew that I should have just stayed away. I could have just walked out of there and I would have been fine. Alright, don't make me regret this game. Don't scare the shit out of me, please. The music is like... Starting to get very freaky here. There's noises here and there as well. I don't like it. It's very dark in here, man. We're just going back up there? We're just going back up there. Why not? There's going to be something here. It's way too slow. Oh, God, dude. Something's going to happen here. There's wood. Okay, maybe nothing's going to happen. Maybe. Oh, God. Son of a fuck. There's a wolfie, man. Oh, I should have known. Oh, man. Even when I was being so cautious, looking around, it still happened. Now, what, what do we do? What do we do? Screw you, Wolfie. You're a dog. You can't open doors. Oh, it's a guy. He's still there. Apparently, he didn't even hear. Oh, he's going towards the exit. Is he leaving? What a douchebag. All right. Anyway, I'm going to end the part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Why is he walking by himself? Okay. So, we just had a pretty uh, pretty fruitful um, little expedition to the sanatorium. We lost a bunch of fingers, but we gained a lot of clues. And we're on to another conspiracy. So that's fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you in the next part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll, I'll talk to you later.